we did our hangout uh, on uh, last Sunday. And uh, they're always interesting. You know, we've got some real interesting characters that pop in there. It's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very diverse group. Mm -hmm. um, it truly is. Um, we, have two, we have two blacks. And they, uh, they're both you know, from Nigeria. Of... And one's a prince. Maybe both. Yep. He's the guy that's well, emailing people. I'm sorry, Kyle. Carry on. He's got the robes, at least. We, we, we choose to believe him. And, uh, you know, it's, it's this group of people who have who are both big fans of this show, obviously, and they have fifty dollars of disposable income to you to spend every month just to spend four hours with us. So yeah. that's a that's a real interesting group of people. You know, there's guys who are who are active duty military. There's guys who are wealthy for one reason or another. And there's just wild men like I won't say his <laughs> name, but there's a there's a guy who. He's going on like this world vacation with like a Instagram thought, and he's uh, he's he's just like like he's always I won't say the other thing that he's into because that'll connect him. But um, you know you know what he's into, what he's always up to, and talking about and having a good time with. But but you know right now he's in um, Hong Kong, like 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 mm -hmm. he, he went to oh, Bali yeah. for a few days. Now he's in fucking Hong Kong, and he was he was like I'm gonna. I'm, I'm heading to the protests. And we're like, that's not a tourist attraction. <laughs> it's, it's not a tourist he attraction. He made a PKA sign so he could take him to the Hong Kong protests. Yeah. But the protest started right as he had to catch his next flight. I was very unfortunate. Oh, but... dude, you know how much it sucks when you when you schedule your flight and miss the protests? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's very uh, inconvenient. The, and he showed me his pictures. He's a perfect specimen. Like crazy what? fit right now. Like well, if aliens Afri needed, he's a twenty-two-year-old African American who it uses who who works out a lot. Yes, and it shows. It it definitely shows. Um, he's a real big buff guy. I don't think he. I think he's like five nine, five ten or so. But he looks like he's about four feet wide. He yeah. just looks incredibly Jeez. powerful, and he he looks like the like. You know the diagrams on the wall of the gym that show you where each muscle is? That he could be that guy. You know, yeah. it's just like <laughs> these are what delts are. This is your upper and lower pec. This is your this. This is, he's just all perfected out. Yeah. He's looking real ripped, real <laughs> ripped up. He's uh, he's probably he's very much hard. enjoying this all conversation. My sexy right. talk on it. Yeah. I mean I'd fuck him. Yeah. Who are we fucking? <laughs> oh, he'd fuck you. Uh, yeah, who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm yeah. definitely bottoming that relationship. Are you talking about Athlean X? No, no. It's oh. uh we're trying not to give away everything about him, but the, oh, the super buff guy who went to yeah. Hong Kong at the hangout. That 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 whole thing about uh, no, he'd fuck you. Uh we watched we watched this SNL clip the other day, and it's uh it's when Jonah Hill was guest uh guesting on the show. And uh, he's doing this skit where he's presenting to like the entire news media as a, as a professor, as a scientist of, of something or another. He's like, I have taught an ape to talk. And they're like, bullshit, bullshit. He's like, don't believe me. Hear it straight from his mouth. And, and they bring out this fucking ape. And he's, you know, he, he, the makeup is excellent. You're like, holy shit. That that's some legit, ma he, and he he's looking kind of like wild eyed, like, like the eyes are super. But he's wearing like pants with like the um, suspenders. Oh, classic and, monkey's uh, fashion. And, <laughs> and, and, they're, and they're like, and they're like, he, he he's like, all right, speak. And he goes, hello. Yes. <laughs> I can't remember what his name is, but he's like, my name George. And they're everybody's like blown away. They're going crazy. And he's like, that's right. I did it. I taught an ape to speak. And then the monkey goes, he sex me. <laughs> and he goes, wait, what? Did, uh, don't listen to what he says. Did, did he just say that you sexed him? No, 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 no. I, 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 don't focus on what he says. Just that he's saying something. No, no. he have sex with me. <laughs> and, and like, like the guy, he's like, hey, wait, wait a minute. George, right? Are you saying that he had sex with you? Not him behind me. 
me behind him. <laughs> That's how he like. <laughs> it, just, it just keeps ramping up the, the humiliation factor as it goes on. Like by the end, he's like, he tell me he have baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kill me. <laughs> That's exactly that. Jonah Hill's like, oh God, God. sir, did you tell him that you, a human man, could have a half ape, half human baby. I, I don't know. I said a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's like trying to talk a cute girl into bed? <laughs> exactly. A cute boy yeah. into bed? Yeah. I, I, we may have talked about this like three or four years ago, but that reminded me of this story. Oh, of, God, we did. Uh, did we? How long ago was that? It, where in, uh, it, where it the fuck had... was it? The horrifying story. Too long. Jungle, six it's secret. been too long story since we of a prostitute orangutan named Pony who was chained to a bed, shaved daily, and forced to perform sex acts on men twice her size. And this happened in Memphis. No, I was Wait, in Borneo at an Apollo. Who would oil pay farm. a fucking ape? I mean, Bro, I feel like yeah, it would be the in, yeah. I feel like it would be the <laughs> inverse where it'd be like, "How much do I have to pay you to bang an ape?" You yeah, know, but exactly. people were paying to fuck Pony. What would your number be? To fuck I need ape? to see this ape. 60 to $70. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I need a picture. I'm, I'm clicking the free link. whiskey river barbecue. Oh, oh God. I Taylor, know. Taylor's like, how much are blues tickets? <laughs> yeah. Just blues tickets. Oh, my God. This, it's fine. <laughs> this, this animal is disgusting. Yeah. It's There's a, a picture of it here. Mostly shaved. A prostitute I, I mean, orangutan. It's a Maybe prostitute Cody. orangutan. Oh, Kyle. She's kind of cute. Oh, my God. It, it She... I mean, you think there was jealousy in the, the brothel <laughs> where the, the human women are like, she's taking all the business, guys. She's also, also, is, it, kids. Is, is it fair to call the orangutan a prostitute if, like, she was chained and forced mm. to do this? Is she yeah, being you're right. paid it's for more, sex? It's, that really... it's more sex slave. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, maybe I think she's maybe she was into the chains. It was like a BDSM thing. Yeah. Do you think the orangutan, like the interviewer on, like, on HBO's Real Sex... Yeah, and, <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> just, yeah. And she's just like, look, you know, women are free to do what they want with their bodies, and not everybody who's in this profession is ashamed of it. She's got like the her little orangutan like lower half like crossed over, and she's like yeah. relaxing with her hands, <laughs> picking oh, up God. the cup. <laughs> Frankly, I do th I think that prostitution should be legal, but to be chained to a bed in a Borneo palm oil farm <laughs> isn't what I would consider empowerment. And I do consider myself a feminist. You can quote me on that. You know, I have a new book coming out. Yeah, uh, Chain to My Sorrows uh, by <laughs> Pony the this is, by Pony the, the orangutan. So it was a brothel with lots of women in it, but only one orangutan. And the orangutan had perfume and jewelry on, and guys would sometimes <laughs> choose the orangutan over the human women. I wonder what the oh price difference God. was. Like Maybe you know, orangutans have really good puss. I would hope the price difference is massive. Right? I wonder if is it like two hundred dollars to fuck some woman, but you know. For nineteen ninety five, you can have this orangutan. Yeah, over exactly. Here. No, it's you, better it, to imagine it's like two hundred dollars to fuck a woman, seven hundred dollars to fuck the orangutan. Uh, <laughs> supply and demand. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you fuck not, the orangutan, we'll validate your parking. Come on, she's lonely, boy. <laughs> she'll, yeah. validate, she'll validate your parking. Is there it, like there are certain crimes that I am totally fine with death penalty for? I didn't think that's yeah. where you were going with this. No. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd go the other way. <laughs> yeah. You thought I was gonna say that I would be fine with. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because here's my thing. Orangutans yeah. can kick people's asses, right? Huh? Not this one. It's chained up. Ah, oh, she could still do it. And she could defend yeah. herself. She could have fought her way out back. of it. Yeah. You know, so so clearly she wanted to fuck. Otherwise, she wouldn't. Like the same way that I can't rape a grizzly bear, right? If I have sex with a grizzly bear, mm -hmm. that 